Family, friends, and fellow gamers, welcome to Grumpy Gnome Gaming. I am Grumpy Gnome. Let's give a quick shout out to um, two new subscribers, Fun Sam Gaming and Intern Mannix. Welcome aboard, guys, and uh, thank you for your support of this channel. I uh, hope that we can uh, start a dialogue in our comments, and if you have any suggestions and or tips, or just want to voice your opinion, please do so. Let's get going. Resume. Okay. Hey, subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so. Let's get that over with. Notice down here, I've got a couple buildings that are across the creek from these bridges. I've also already got roads going in here. So the first thing I'm going to do is open these bridges to be built so that our people can quickly run over here and get, you know, I'm even going to open this one so that they can quickly run over here and get this stuff built. So right now, I don't want them to do anything except these bridges. Let's get running. I know I ended on a white screen, which is something I don't like to do. Um, also got a little plan going on here. I laid something out. I didn't like it, so I'm going to take it away. I'm also not in love with the, what do you call it, this refinery right there. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that. And did I put roads into there already? I did not. So that's good. So let's just get rid of that. What I'm going to go ahead and do is probably build the refinery off of this, which happens to be our dense tree shack. So you know what? I'm just going to go ahead. How are they doing with these bridges? Oh, man. Come on, guys. Get these bridges done down here. I don't know if prioritizations actually help or not, but... Let's see what they can get done. Is there another one further? No, there isn't. And, of course, they can come across here, too. Now, this looks like it's a tunnel. And I can't even click on it. There she is. Yeah, we're going to get that tunnel put in once we get all of our bridges built to this part of the land over here. I wonder if those traders are still there. I know I kind of teased you. Uh, they're all gone. We, I never did get a chance to see what they had either, but it doesn't matter because we had such a huge, huge episode in our last one. <sighs> Surprise! We're getting into the olive business and um, that is a whole new node right here. And to give you guys a little idea about where this node is, let's go ahead and close these down. And it looks like this is the first two. No, these are actually regular. Here's downtown right here, Main Street. And we take Main Street across the creek and we're right north of Main Street here. So that's where we're actually, we're right across from the first placer mine district. So let's go ahead and get this. Why am I starting at the bottom? Yeah, well, if we're there, we're there. Houses. Now let's go ahead and this is the well, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it in. There's their market. There's the forester right there. Let's go ahead and open that up. And then this should be the gatherer. And guess what? We are now in the olive business. If I would have planned ahead, this is probably going to be an area to make some olive oil and maybe get a little bakery district set up. I still have this little circle area here. Haven't, you know what? We got a circle here and a circle here. But this circle is going to impede in the Olive District. <sighs> I didn't plan that one out too well, did I? Another thing, no, I can't even I can't even square it across because we got our tunnel coming in right here. Okay, we got our bridges built. You know what? Let's open up this entire district over here now.
because you know me guys I do not mess around and with all this new housing going in over here I know there's a bridge here somewhere there she is and did I ever put one in up here I don't think so I don't know let's um, grab bridge let's grab creek plank let's come off of this road and for some reason I can't put one in so that's going to let's clear this area out so we see what we're dealing with we might have to flatten a little bit of terrain gosh darn it remove resources right there and yeah, might as well take it down there what the heck and then we'll figure out what's going on here, why we can't bridge it across. And I may even cross this way also. We'll figure it out. Okay, well, here we go. Let's let's get a jam in here. Where do we start? Maybe we want to start with some housing. I don't know. I'm wasting time. Get it done. Let's just open. Mines. Let's get some mines going. After all, that's going to be the attraction of this land. So right here, we got seven placer mines going in. I'm trying to keep the pollution producing buildings away from the village center. Behind the mines, I'm putting all storage units. So there's two, here's three storage and i think this is a fourth one so we got four storage units going in right here we're going to get a tavern and right here we're going to give them their own school and then they're going to get their own church wow they already built the cemetery and we've already got dead people i see dead people we may as well throw some storage there since um Everybody seems to be yelling at, hey, man, we don't have any storage. So now we got stockpiles and store. This is impressive. That huge stockpile I laid down as kind of a joke actually filled itself up. So it's like, wow, that that impressed me. And now let's get some houses here. I don't even know how many people we're going to need. This is their market. They got their own central market going on here. It's not a central. It's the dock one. I'm going to go ahead and open. You know what? Doggone it. Stop for a minute. I don't know if I want to do that. I may want to take away this house and this house in favor of two other items. And I'm really, I need to do this quick. You know what? let's um i'm gonna put my paws back on that house because i might be removing it but let's at least get them some housing going in here oh that didn't clear doggone it what is wrong with you there we go we can already do the back row here and this is a little well to make this whole little district look nice now these buildings here I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is remove this one and remove this one. And what I want to put in here, or, or should I just start building along the back row? Never even thought about that. We'll save that for more housing. But what I want to do there is I want to come into this. I want to come into there and take out my my linen weaver because you guys know I love my linen weaver and across from that I think we're gonna go ahead and put the mead brewer in boom those two are gonna complement that and the only thing I'm thinking about now is doubling them up and you know what we're gonna do that we're gonna do it and I'm not even gonna say what I normally say you guys can go ahead and fill that blank in if you want do, do, do. and then oh my gosh did I just I I removed them I think I hope I did anyway here we go where's my this one go to Taylor I'm gonna come into linen weaver and check it out baby we've now got two linen weavers in this district and we're gonna get two mead brewers which means if I have a couple spaces 
to put down some and I need road let's get them running if I do have what do you call it there we go I may want to put some some housing in the back there let's go ahead and start doing that too so let's take houses we'll take these guys and we'll go ahead I see I was debating if I wanted to put my mead brewers back here two three four boom one two three four and but I don't know we'll see anyway and that is our new placer mine district for now there was something I wanted to build here and for the life of me I cannot remember what it was and oh my god that's gonna irk me only because there was something else I wanted to build over here I know what I wanted to put in there stop building we're gonna come down here and this one's for candy so we're gonna come back to these I'm gonna put in the herb dude I'm pretty sure this is what I wanted to drop right here so they're going to have their own herbalist in town also. So cha-ching, that's in. Let's go ahead and road that off, kind of like that. Okay, and now we need to complement that with the sister building, which is this dude. And I don't, was that dude going to fit right there? It sure, no. Okay, stop the stop the clock. Stop the clock. We're pause. You will fit into one of these spaces. So that leads me believing now. Should we? Another two by three. What do we have? An, you know what? I think a chicken breeder is a two by three. So you know what we're going to do? I think we are going to take out those two. Oh, man, I hope they didn't put too many resources into this yet. Uh, take that one out. And I'm actually going to take this one out. Because the herb person is going to be cleaner than the mead brewer. And what that's going to do for us is, well, cleaner. Cleaner is better. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, we still got the mead brewer going in here. Let's get them running because I don't let them run as much as I should. So we're going to grab this one and I'm going to stick it right there. So that's going to comp, these two are going to complement each other. And then I think in this dockage area, we got a chicken breeder. And if I'm not mistaken, oh my gosh, who is your daddy? Cha-ching. And then we got four manufacturing buildings right around our market to make it actually kind of look like a market. Now, since I want this to be pretty much a standalone district, oh my gosh, we got people for the mines. Oh, you know, another thing was my labor count sucked, and I was not even paying attention to that. But I'm glad to see the numbers. See, our children are starting to go up. That means that they're starting to get into the housing. Placer mines, how many miners do we have room for? Please don't suck up my whole my whole thing 15 i don't want 15. i was really hoping that these guys would kind of thin themselves out oh nuts on a biscuit well there we go that's some now we got somebody in there hopefully they'll thin themselves out by themselves okay what else are we putting here well if we're gonna be a standalone district I'm going to do the uh, the Trinity here with my tailors. And what roof is that? That's that's the roof I want. 
and oh wow we got some other oh, okay there's that what do we have going in whoa stop the clock stop the clock something's going on here what are you no stop people can i not build here i see road nuts on a biscuit if in doubt take out the angry tool that almost looks like something was slated to go in well wait a second why is it in red then is it roadage do i have roaded you know what i'll bet i do look at that i do have roadage in there that was from when i previously had everything laid out maybe they just haven't removed those roads yet anyway the trinity is going to be three tailors one doing warm coats, one doing wool coats, and then one doing survival. And of course, if we're going to have tailors in this district, what I want to start bringing in are the animal pens. And I haven't yet decided what order I want to lay them out in. We might just go in the order that they are here. So we'll go with the nuts on a biscuit. We can do this. We'll go with egg there. And then we're going to go with, I'm going to skip a space and put milk in there. And then I'm going to skip a space and put wool in there. And look at these nomads coming through. And then what I wanted to do was actually drop a mark, uh, not a market, but a storage unit. And these are three, so that's the direction we're going. Boom. Small storage. Right there. And what I'm probably going to do after this is go ahead and... Where's the top? There you are. Come all the way across. And I think that, yep, that's it. Cha-ching, right there. And I could just close in all of these gaps. And there we go. Oh my, are we running? There we are. Let's do this, man. Let's do this. So they're going to have that. And the reason I did them right here in the corner is we may go ahead and stack them. So I might do another row right above them. Our food is totally going off the charts. One thing I'm curious about, what is our educated population? 99%. Okay. And I'm wondering if that is because our schools have actually filled up. What are you bringing that we wanted? There must have been a reason. Oh, there we go. There's a reason for this season. And that's because I wanted your jade and your marble. Do, do, do. And that's going to take us to 10,500. Let's start with expensive things like domesticated animals. If I give you four, that's a thousand. If I give you 40, that's 10,000. And then I need 500 more of something. And that would be 500 more. Would be, do, 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 do. I don't feel like doing math right now. Here we go, five of these. Do, 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 cha ching And what do I need? I must trade an additional 5,000. Where did we go wrong? Oh, I only have 19 animals here. Did I not have all the animals that I wanted? I don't know. Well, let's just start adding stuff in there. Um, I can give you a 1,000 of this because I don't need it. And where does that put us? 
Um, cha-ching. You must trade in it. Why does it seem like, okay, my numbers are going the wrong way? I don't know. What do I need? 4,000 of something? Okay, take 100 of those. That's going to get us 3,500. Now I need 625 of something. So if I give you 30 of these, that's going to put us at 25 for something. Do I have something worth 25? Um, I don't, do I? Oh, nuts on a biscuit. Okay, well, let's go ahead and do this then. We'll take that out of there. Now, oh, now I'm back to 425 again. Okay, how about some survival coats? Whoops, whoa, we went too far. Okay, 125 of something. Okay, let me go ahead and give you... Where can we get 125 of something? Uh, okay, take that. Overpaying by 35 units. So take this to 99. Oops. How about just 99? Cha-ching, there we go. Trade it, dismiss it, and we now have jade and... And marble. Yes, give us a brewer. We need happy people working in the mines. I'm sure OSHA would approve of that. And check it out. This is our, our how our new little district is going in right now. I think this is going to be a happy little district over here. Are they already? Look at that. They're already filling storage. The market already has food. We've got a couple people working in there already. Oh my gosh, they are self-sufficient here. Make sure everybody's still running at 10 speed. Yes, they are. And, uh-oh, what happened? Go away. And you know what's down here? The melting houses, of course. If we're going to be mining, we're going to need melting houses. And up here, let's go ahead and get this dense tree shack opened up. And what I want to do is find out where the circle of influence is. Because next to the dense tree shack, we're going to put in a... I'm going to find you... Fuel refinery. And we're going to go ahead and run you like... I think I'm going to get you facing... Uh, no, let's get you this way. Okay, right there, that butts up against you, so I'm going to go over one. Just like that. Cha-ching. And we're going to plant you right there. And we're going to let them build that. And with the dense tree shack, now we can go ahead and put in our stockpiles. Because we didn't have any stockpiles for this dude. Oh, where are you? You down here? Okay, there it is. So, oh, actually, I already outlined it with a road. So I'm going to come all the way across to where the road meets that and go right there. And then I'm going to start all the way up here, come across until we hit that, back off one, and go right there. And then this, this gives us a couple stockpiles to work with. And we'll go right to there. Did that go in? Yeah, it looks like it did. And then take this one down to here. There we go. That should be good for now. I don't really think I need to go further west or further north with the stockpiles, but we'll see, because they can always come down here and put them in. Okay, what were, what's going on over here? Why, why are you not giving me a bridge? And the only thing I can think about is we don't have a landing right there. And let's go ahead and try that to see if that remedied our problem. Perfect. Who is your daddy? We ask that a lot, don't we? Okay, let's just put you right there and put you right there. And they're going to get another bridge. You know what? And we wanted to do a bridge that way also. So let's see if we can grab a bridge. Okay. And we're going to go across. And look at that. Oh, my gosh. It's almost like it was meant to go there. And right there. Okay. And see, that kind of keeps this ring of influence out of our houses. 
the ring of uh, pollution, so to say. And then down here, oh, we need more miners. What's our labor force look like? Labor force should be growing. Well, not really, but let's throw, oh, no, this one. Let's throw in a couple. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. That should be, no, that didn't even make a, a dent in it. Four, five, six. There we go. If we ever get a, an excessive labor force again, we will go through and um, make sure that we got the right number of people working in everything. There's our dense tree shack. We can go ahead and throw somebody into there. You know, one ought to do it. And then he's just going to go ahead and clear this area. He'll start making wood. And that brings up another thing. I should probably put a firewood cutter across from here. So there's that building. Let me see if that building will stay up there. And then let's grab a firewood cutter, which is here. And we like this guy. And we want the one with the little hut because other there it is and we're gonna flip you like that and then that way okay there's my road so I'm gonna come over one and then drop you down right to there cha-ching and then you know what we should do from this point is probably run stockpiles to the other end now up here I know that's a road right there, so I'm actually going to start it there and bring it across to there. And with our firewood starter, I'm going to skip one and then bring it across. And oh my gosh, I can't come all the way. But you know what? If only there was a way we can fix that. And we're, what do we need to come up to? Right about there. And then delete that. Once again, I'm doing stuff on the fly, people, so hopefully you can appreciate the effort I'm putting into this. Doing this, and then we're going to come here, and then we're going to grab that stockpile, and oh my gosh, I lost everything here that I was working on. Um, hello, that must be my firewood cutter. There's one space. There's, oh my gosh, what is going on? One, two, no, one. Why, why do I have one space right there? I don't get it. Unless, let's go ahead and do this. There's my circle. So right around here is where it should start. Okay, there's that space and right there run the stockpile all the way over and there she is baby just a walking down the street you guys know the song what how's this coming still working and there we go guys oh my gosh we need to get a teacher in boom because we don't want to get into that problem where we're running out of people you know what i think the best thing we can do right now is by the way this is a stockpile right here I, th I thought it was a stockpile. Doggone it. Did I not put a stockpile in there? Oh, you know what? I think I was probably going to put something else in there, but now it's a stockpile. <sighs> well, I hope you guys like this new district. It is a new mining district, just out of curiosity. Oh, olive thing... Oh my gosh, is there nobody working there? Let's go ahead and max that out. And just throw three into there. Hopefully that gets everybody manned. And I was going to make a run. We really need more laborers. Uh, I'm really glad that that just shot up. Let's run down here and see what we got. Apothecaries. There's an interesting number, but... I am going to guess that those might be our our herb people. Two of two, 33, 13. We can actually use another blacksmith. Well, you know what? I'm going to... Oh, man. We, gotta, we need to know where he is. Ah, shucks. Go in. Um, I don't want them building rough tools. 
One out of two for chandleries. Okay, we'll do that. That'll eat up more whale blubber. It's interesting because in Pangea, season one, it was the tallow that we had an excessive amount of. Two more gatherers. We had an excessive amount of tallow to make the candles with. And in this episode, the whale blubber is just off the charts. And I'm not complaining about that. It's just maybe it's the different climate that's doing it. Two, 14 stone. I'm not going to add any more stone cutters. As a matter of fact, we may pull stone cutters. Uh, traders. I don't want to add more traders either. As a matter of fact, I'm, I'm getting so patient with the traders. Sailors. That I will up. The traders, I may drop them back down to two per dock. And the vendors, same thing with the vendors. Um, we don't need more than two in each market. And that, that should do it. That should equal everybody out for a while. Uh, let's go ahead and open this up. Just out of curiosity, what's our housing count look like? Hey, we're only 70 off. So that's not bad. I mean, it could be better. Are we not moving? Oh my gosh, I am such a boob. Uh, does that go straight through to this? Oh my gosh, how perfect would that be if it lined up? Oh my gosh, you'd almost think that that was made to go there. And let's go ahead, and now that they should have cleared this area, let's see if we can go ahead and add in the buildings we wanted to. So I'm going to go to the tailor first. I'm going to pick my favorite small town tailor. We're going to do the flippy thing. I'm going to change the roof, and then we're going to drop you right there. Going to change the roof and go one, two, three. Drop you right there. Change the roof. Go one, two, three right there. And then I'm going to grab my small town blacksmith. And we're going to go one, two, three. Change the roof. Drop you right there. And this is how we do it. And I'm hoping I did not just... I hope I got enough room between. Oh, I did not put. Oh, there's my storage unit. Oh my gosh, how perfect is that? Three. Okay, I'll just close that in. Come across to there. Close that in. Come across to there. Close that in. And then this is closed in. We're perfect. Man, this is really, really, really a good run. Oh, by the way, that rice, all those rice fields, planters that we opened up. Watch this. By quantity, I'm going to guess top five. Boom, number two. Check it out. 27,000 and growing. The rice really saved us. To the point where I'm actually going to start looking for more places to drop rice, rice, rice stills. Now a rice still is a four by two. So any place where we can put a shanty might be a good place to put some rice. And if I had a nice straight shoreline, I can actually drop some rice fields out here. Now, do you need a tailor? Boom. There you go. Oh my gosh. This is this is another one of those episodes where just everything is going right. I don't know if I want to keep a double stockpile over here. And we'll see how it fills up. Once the dense tree shack is up and hopping, it might start loading this. There's our herb mender. Welcome to the jungle. 
baby. And we'll put one in there. Look, this is how we populate or yeah, this is how we employ our people. This is really, really, really going good. I'm having a lot of fun with, with this. These last two episodes, the one we just did, and then this one here. You know what? Tunnel away, baby. Let's let's start getting over into this area. And is this the new olive field? There she is. And you can see I've got the stockpiles put into here already. Everything here looks like it is up and running. I actually want to drop a second gatherer in just to make sure that we're getting as much out of this as possible. This should be three. This I'm actually going to... Oh, it is at two, but it only has one. I'm perfectly all right with that. As a matter of fact, it's already 100% filled, which is telling me we need more storage in this area. Another thing I've noticed, and we should probably address this sooner than later, is I've only got housing here for four adults. And if I've already got three here, two here, and at least one or two in here, I don't have enough housing. So one thing I want to start doing is dropping two more houses into each of our nodes. And I'm going to go one there, and then one, two, three, four. Is that it? Perfect. Right there. Cha-ching. So they're going to get two more houses in there, and I'm going to do that for each of our nodes. And that should give us a better production one two three four a better production rate that way the people who are actually working here and i'm gonna have to cut that stockpile down so we'll do that that's not gonna break my heart remove that one so i know i'm gonna forget to come back to it but that's all right because I'm old and I'm allowed to forget things. And we can take that stockpile out and I'm already gonna give you one more house anyway. Like right there. Oh, wow. Things are getting done. Another thing that we talked about what we wanted to do in our, Oh man, what, what is all this stuff that they're giving us? Candles, uh, tools, iron ore. I don't think we need iron ore. Straight up iron? No, we're good. We're at 11k for that. Or actually, we're at 1k, but... Yeah, we're good. Dismiss. Bring me better things. Bring me toys. Oh, we need people? We need vendors? Is that serious? Yeah, we do. Can we drop? Yeah, we could drop a couple. Let's go uh, one, two, um, three. Does that work? No, four. There we go. Anyway, what are you bringing? Do 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 lobster. Rock lobster. Down, down, down. Do 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 do. There goes my copyright again. Do 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 do. Anyway, here we go. Um, nope. And as long as we were talking pastures, let's pause and check out our meat production here. Let's go by name so we can find everything. How about bison or beef? Beef is zero. That could be a problem. Bison. We don't even have bison meat we got bison cuts. Bison, there, there's bison meat, 280. That could be better. How about, is it sheep or is it mutton? And then is it pig or is it pork? Either way, let's go to P. Pork, 410, could be better. But you notice, because there are more in here, I wonder if that has an effect that it does produce more than these. And the last one was sheep or mutton. 
And there's Mutton at 100. And just out of curiosity, there is no sheep. H I. No. Nope. So it's Mutton. So what do you think, guys? Do we do we do it? Do we do it? And if we did it, what order should we put them in? I am almost thinking. I wonder if I should. Man, I'm squirreling again. Do we tunnel this right here? I wonder if it would let us. Here I am thinking about, oh my God, we need meat and stuff, but oh my gosh, the whole thought of getting a tunnel. Nope, it will not materialize. Okay. We can put... How can we do this to make it actually work well? I'm thinking maybe pig and sheep... And then Frisian. And then Bison here. That might work. So here we go. Pig. Sheep. And you know what? We can get them running already. And then this way we're going to do the Frisians. And then here we're going to do the Bisons. And then we're going to go... One, two, three, four, just like that. And with a little bit of luck, we are going to split that. We are going to split that. We are going to split that. And we are going to split that. Well, the buffalo, they're like, hey, let me out of here. Of course, they're probably looking at all this right here. And here come the sheepies. Piggies are going where they're supposed to go. And here come the Frisians. Is that a Frisian or a baby bison? Oh, it's a Frisian. Check it out, man. And give it uh, another couple seasons. And I think we would have just doubled our meat production. Gosh darn it, this is a fun episode. I really hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. The copper is coming out the ying over here. And you know what? I, I'm going to go ahead and open up more housing here. Uh, be, the reason I'm doing this is because we now have the food. Look at this. We're going to bust 100,000 food before this episode is over. So I'm not concerned about all these houses grabbing the food. As a matter of fact, do I even have a school? The little holy trinity of the school, the church, and the hospital. There's the church. What we might want to do, maybe we'll carve it out right here. Maybe put a small cemetery back here. And you know what? Let's do that. Let's, um, let's first clear this area. So we can see what we're working with. And I think if we take it right down to this point, we'll get that area cleared out. Boom. And, oh, I do have a school here. Oh, score. There is our 45, which means we're just about ready to wrap this up. Man, I really hope you guys have enjoyed this as much as I have. This was actually a fun run. We acknowledged our new subscribers that we got to this channel. Uh, for those of you that are actually recommending my channel to other friends of yours, thank you. Thank you very much. Sincerely. I appreciate you doing that. Oh, wow. Look at this. Five in a row. I guess that would be a full house. Or a straight. Seeds. Here we go. Corn seeds. Oh, my gosh. Guess what? That is going to put us into the bakery market. You guys saw it first. Just out of curiosity, you know what? I'm going to click this because I don't want it to go away. But what are these other guys bringing? This is clothing. We don't need that. What are you bringing? Oh, my. And this guy just took off on us. You're bringing roots, which we get naturally. 
oranges. We don't need kale. We don't want a salad bar. And canola, I'm actually going to pass on that because we got the new olive. Um, what do you want to call it? An olive node put in. So I'm going to dismiss you. And you are bringing yum yum. But I don't think we need yum yum because we have sorted out our food issue. So I'm going to dismiss you. And this is the one I want to deal with right now. So I'm just going to go through here. And I think what I've been given everybody was 10 bucks. And I'm just trying to remember what I was giving everybody. I think the next thing was firewood. And I did 1250 because that's 2000 Domesticated animals, I've been dropping 10 in each one. And then we're going to come on down. And the next thing I'm going to drop in, I believe, is the linen. No, hull components. Hull components, I, I, for some reason, remember them being 125 or 155. And then jade statues, I'm going to go ahead and put 10 into each one. And that'll be 200 and actually that'll be 2,400. And then the marble statues, linen cloth here for 250. That's another 2,000 units. Marble statues will be 10. That should be 10,000. I'm sorry, 2,800. And, uh, okay, do I still have my native artifact? I don't think I do. Pearls, I'm always going to drop in 10 pearls. Or did I up it to 100? I don't remember. What's our pearl count? Yeah, I can go 100 into each one and uh what else we got oh the coats the coats so let's start a oh, rope is going to be a hundred and then we're going to go to survival coats which is also going to be a hundred and then we're going to go down to wool coats which is also a hundred wool coats used to be 500 and then i want warm coats at a hundred is our wool coat count going up any yeah it's getting up there but you know what i'm pretty contento with what we got they've got four out of five traders so we're gonna just let them bring their stuff i mean they're all the way at the side of the mountain so that's probably gonna take them a little time but that's that's golden right there all right well we're not gonna break 100k but we're still we're still doing really well and we're still sporting uh, 90 shy maybe no 70 shy so we're slowly getting caught up are you guys bringing me more stuff or did i just not dismiss you no you go away and you Oh my gosh, mango. No, tropical. Patates, we already got that. And cotton seeds. Oh my gosh. I'm thinking I'm thinking we're going to grab cotton seeds too. So I'm going to let everybody roll. And we're going to do this whole thing over again here. So there's 10 of those. And I might forget. You know, I should probably throw some building supplies. I don't even know what building supplies are worth. Because, I, I, quite honestly, I never use building supplies. I think firewood was my next one. And we're going to go to 1250 there. 1250. And then we're going to come down to the hull components, was it? And we're going to drop in 10 of those. And then we're going to come down to, I don't know, whatever we can find that we want to use. Linen cloth, 250 of those. And we're going to do statues. Um, jade jade statues for 10 and we're going to do marble statues for 10 and then let's come on down a little bit further and pearls we were going to do a hundred so 100 and uh what else is there do 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 do, do. rope i know we're going to do a hundred and rope and let's come down to our coats so survival coats is going to be a hundred and then the warm stuff, warm coats here. We're gonna have a hundred of those. And then the wool coats. You know what else I might wanna do just for fun? Throw in um, 2,000 whale blubber, just to get rid of it. 
and then wool coat 100 of those that's good and we'll let them throw that throw all that together so and they got four out of five so that's cool and then when you guys come back which is probably going to be tomorrow because guess what i'm off for the rest of the year i did i am taking next week off uh, the only thing that is going to kimono, that's probably tapping into our Japanese build that we have right here. These are all Japanese style um, things, like the name of this, Campo Herbalist, and then we got a Honshu. So they're probably tapping into the Japanese theme. Here we got, yeah, Dismiss You, and here, Agave, no. I mean, if we're going to do, that would really be cool. Blackberries. I think we've already got blackberries. And I can't think of anything to do with pumpkins. So. All right, man. This this was awesome. I'm, I'm really, really, really happy with the way this is going. I really, really, really. Okay, what, what do we want to use here? Let's see, we can use grapes, strawberries, watermelon, plum, red mulberry, blackberries, or raspberries. Now we're growing blackberries and we're going growing grapes. Which is our better producer? Blackberries or grapes? 1795. 19. Well, I guess you are going to be blackberries. Throw somebody in there and woohoo, we are up and running. Hey guys, if you like this episode, please give me a like. Better yet, if you like this episode, tell your friends about it. Even if you don't subscribe, tell your friends about it. Maybe they will. If you didn't like it, well, Give me a sympathy like anyway and tell me why you didn't like it. If you do subscribe or if you already have, please tell 10 friends. If you don't know 10 friends, tell 5 friends twice. With that said, I am Grumpy Gnome. I am out of You know what? I'm going to let this run a couple more minutes. Ah, nuts, man, because mm -hmm. I really want to get out of the white screen. And I really hope I don't go over my, my one hour or of recording time because I don't get to throw my intro and my outro in there and if I don't get to put well that must be something else from the Japanese uh, themed stuff so it's interesting seeing the way that's coming in and once again these guys do not bring seeds and they do not bring animals so you're probably saying well why do you still have them there well, because you never know what kind of building supplies they're going to bring. And quite frankly, you never know when we're going to have another food crisis. Okay, what are you? You're a market. What's our la oh, labor count is 22? Okay, let's, let's add people in here until that question mark goes away. There it is. And maybe that's something we need to do is just kind of zoom over here and make sure that everybody is doing what they're supposed to. I'm probably going to have to take out these. Yeah, zero remaining. I don't even know if you guys are destroyed yet or not. I'm going to guess not because I think that's what they look like when they're destroyed. And if we haven't done it yet, we'll come in here and we'll just kind of flatten you like this. And after we do that, we get to do this awesome little cheat and drop in. Whoops. Flippy thing. We get to drop in a new fresh quarry. All right. I don't think I'm going to get my green back anytime soon. Where should we leave it? Let's take one more look at our new mining district. 
and that'll be a good place to close it off. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to the map. Our new district is right up here. And there, oh my gosh, we got to put people to work, don't we? Do we even have enough housing here? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. I don't even think we have enough housing for everybody. So I'm going to let that roll. Okay, watch all the question marks go away. Wow, they're not going away fast enough. There they go. Okay, up here, a fuel refinery. Yeah, we need somebody working there. Another wood cutter. I would sure like to have one in right there. Make sure this is using firewood. Yes, it is. Okay, this area is self-contained. Blacksmith, I want you making carbon steel. You're going to make survival coats. You're going to make wool coats. And you are going to make warm coats. One, two, three. There is my perfect. Get somebody in here. Now they're going to get their herb on. And chicken breeders. There you go, guys. Oh, and I see I got, oh, I forgot how to squeal this thing. Here we go. Tunnel looks like it's built. More mines. There we go. And there is our new mining district in all of its glory. Take care, people. I'm Grumpy Gnome. I'm out of here in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and bye-bye.